Oh man. Galettes. There were some amazing ones in there. <laughs> what are you supposed to God. say more stuff? What are you supposed to say more stuff? Hi Bull Bakers, in preparation for summer here at Bigger Boulder Baking, we got the whole team over here and we created over 50 new recipes just for the summertime. I'm talking crisps, tarts, cobblers, pies, anything you can think of to use the lovely fruit and ingredients that are out there right now. One recipe that really shone over all that the team absolutely loved was peach cobbler and that's what I'm going to show you right now. As always, we've got Zach behind the camera back with us and then Kevin is feeding baby George right now. So I've got two taste testers ready to go for this peach cobbler. Here I have our lovely peaches. They are in season. You've got to get them while the going's good. They're absolutely delicious. So just cut them off the stone and then sometimes you've got a little bit extra left on. So. It was very sour. Was it really? Yeah, really sour. So all you have to do is slice your peaches. I'm leaving the skin on because it's nice and thin. However, you can peel it if you want to. Once they're all thinly sliced, I'm going to toss them into my bowl. So then we're going to grab a little bit of sugar and add that into our peaches. And give it a good stir around. So the thing about peaches is that they can be very juicy, which is a blessing and a curse. So what we're going to do is just let these peaches sit here for around 30 minutes or so. They're going to produce even more liquid. Then we're going to come back and strain it and mix it with the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. I have a colander here and we are going to strain off the liquid off the peaches. Just because we just don't need excess liquid. If you skip this step, your cobbler might just be a little bit juicier. So there we go. Lovely. It's surprising how much juice comes out of them. So I'm just going to set those right over here. Into this mix, we're going to add in a few ingredients to kind of thicken it up. If you've got too much liquid in here, then discard some, put it into a juice or whatever you like. You just want around a quarter cup of liquid. So into this, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of cornstarch or corn flour, and this is going to thicken our sauce. I do a nice generous teaspoon. We're also going to add in some salt for extra flavor. A little bit of vanilla paste, if you have it, this is optional, but it just adds lovely flavor to your cobbler and it also you can see all the seeds throughout your filling and it just looks really pretty. So a little bit of paste. And then lastly we add in some lemon juice. And what this does is that it kind of neutralizes um, the sweetness and the acid in your fruit. So a little bit of lemon with strawberries, raspberries, whatever you have, blueberries, just goes really, really well. Then with the whisk, just mix them all together. If you get any lumps in your cornstarch, then go in with your fingers and break them up. That's no problem. Okay, that's it. And then we go back in with our peaches. Give it a little bit of a stir up. Coat it in that lovely sauce. And then pop it straight into your baking dish. So fun fact about this dish, my mom used to make all of our cobblers and crisps in the like, 80s in this dish. So I took it from Wexford, Ireland back to Los Angeles with me. So you just want to bake those for a few minutes by themselves as the sauce thicken up and the peaches break down. And while they're doing that, we're going to whip up our cobbler topping. It really takes no time at all. So into our bowl, I'm going to add in my flour, a little bit of sugar, baking powder, a little bit of baking soda, when you're doing raising agents, always level off your spoon. It's really important. Less is more when it comes to raising agents. And then a little bit of salt. Gorgeous. Give them a little stir. Now into this, we are going to add in our butter, kind of cold cubed butter. 
So with your fingers, you just want to rub in the butter until it resembles kind of coarse breadcrumbs, so big lumps and small lumps of butter. You don't want to overwork this because you don't want the butter to get too warm underneath your fingers. Gemma, I'm smelling peaches. Peaches for peach cobbler. Awesome. Hey, man. Gemma and the team went crisp, crumble, cobbler, pie crazy. Yep, we made, I was saying over 50, 50 recipes. Yeah, so you'll have to go over to biggerbolderbaking.com right now, check out some of the new recipes and let us know what you want to see made into a video. Comment below. Yeah, um, all brand new and of just for the summer. Okay, we'll be back for the taste Come test. back when it's ready. All right, yeah. come on, George. So when it looks like this, we are going to add in our yogurt and then just with a spoon, stir it together. It's really fast. You're just waiting for it to kind of clump. You can also do this whole thing in a food processor and that's really easy too but it's probably just as easy as by hand. So there you go, so that's it. So let me grab our peaches. Lovely. Oh wow, they smell delicious. So just scatter the cobbler all around the top. This is a rustic dessert, so lumps and bumps and all that stuff are gonna make it look lovely. And then back into the oven until our peaches cook down and they get really lovely and bubbly and that cobbler topping gets lovely golden brown and crispy. Until then, we're gonna come back with some vanilla ice cream. This is gorgeous and bubbly, fresh out of the oven. So I'm gonna take a nice big scoop and give myself some vanilla ice cream. And I think that bite is for me. Oh, there you go, Kevin, that was Perfect good timing. Perfect timing, as always. What do you think? I love it. I got to try some the other day, but the peaches are sweet, the topping is just crisp, and the flavors are so good together. Like, this is a killer summer recipe. Absolutely delicious, oh my gosh, gorgeous. Check out the website for all our other summer recipes. Let us know what you think, and maybe we'll make more of them into videos. We'll see you back here real soon. Almost delicious. The peaches are so good. Give me some more. That's a big one.